and welcome to lesson 94 of Saxon Math Course 2. In this lesson we're going to deal with the probability of dependent events. We're going to find the probability of dependent events occurring in a specific order and we're going to use a calculator to calculate probabilities. In our case we probably won't use a calculator but you will learn how to, to use it. Alright so for vocabulary let's, let's talk about what a dependent event is. The probability that we've done in the past have been independent. So in probability events that are not independent because of the outcome of one event affects the probability of the other event. So for example, if I got a bag of marbles and I pull out a marble and I don't put one back in and then I pull out another marble, aren't my isn't my probability going to be affected by the fact that one marble is now missing? It would be. And so that second draw is dependent upon the outcome of the first draw. And that's an that's a dependent event. So the probability experiments that we've studied so far have been independent events. They don't, they're don't not affected by other events. So now we're going to deal with dependent events and the probability that's influenced by a prior event. So the definition is the probability of a dependent event occurring in a specified order is a product of the first event and the recalculated probabilities of each event to follow. All right, so let's look at this. All right, so in example one, if we have, if we have two red marbles and we have three white marbles and we have four blue marbles and they're all in a bag together. The first thing we want to know is how many marbles have we got total. So let's go ahead and total that up. We got four, we got seven, we got nine. So we got nine total. That's important to know. All right now if one marble is drawn and it's not put back into the bag it's kept out and then a second marble is drawn, what's the probability that both of those are going to be red? Well, when we draw the first time, our odds of red, there's two reds in there, and there's nine marbles total, so our odds, our probability, not our odds, but our probability is going to be two out of nine. But because we don't put that red marble back in, now there are only eight marbles in the bag, and there's only one red one left. And so the probability of drawing that last one red marble is one eighth because these numbers change to one, three, four, and eight. So our red one is going to be one over eight. Now to figure out the probability of both of those being drawn out as red marbles, we multiply them together and we get two two ninths times one eighth equals two over seventy two. So our odds when it's reduced becomes one. Our probability when it gets reduced becomes one over thirty six. So that is a very that's dependent. That first, this is dependent on what happens here. And so the probability of both marbles being red would be 1 out of 36. 1 36th. All right, let's try another one. Two cards are drawn from a regular shuffled deck. First of all, you need to know that there's 52 cards in a deck, if you don't know that. And it's made up with uh, an ace of each suit, so there's four aces. And that's also important information to know that the text just automatically assumes you know that you may not. So what, what is the probability of drawing two aces? So if two guards are drawn from a regular shelf deck, what is the probability of drawing aces? Well, let's look at that. The first time we draw that, our chance is going to be 4 in 52 because there's 4 aces in the deck and there's 52 cards total. That's going to reduce to 1 out of 13. Now, since we've already got one ace out of it, now there's only three aces left and only 51 cards left because one ace is already taken out of the deck. So when we draw that second time, the probability of drawing an ace a second time is going to be 1 in 17. It's not going to be as good because there's one less ace in the deck. And then the probability of both of those being aces drawn back to back, we take the 1 over 13 times 1 over 17, we know it's going to be 1 in every 221 times you draw you do that 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 scenario you would come up with two aces so the odds aren't the probability is not very good getting the idea okay so let's let's do one more all right in a bag of, you've got two red marbles all right see if you can do this one on your own uh, pause it and then we'll do it together okay so in the bag let's get back to that you've got two red marbles you have three white marbles and you have four blue marbles. So how many marbles do we have total? We have nine total. Alright, so 
It says if one marble is drawn from the bag and not replaced, and then a second marble is drawn from the bag, what's the probability of drawing two marbles that are blue? Okay, so our first time we draw, first time we draw, our odds are going to be four out of nine. Our probability is going to be four out of nine. I apologize for keep saying odds. Probability be four out of nine. Now the second time we draw, we still got two red marbles in there. We still have three white marbles in there, but now we only have three blue ones, and our total marbles are only eight. So the next time we draw, the probability of getting a blue one is going to be three out of eight. So the answer to our question of the probability of drawing two blue marbles is going to be the result of multiplying these two probabilities. This is going to be one, this is going to be three, this is going to be one, this is going to be two. So it looks like it's going to be one sixth. One sixth is our probability of drawing two blue marbles. Hopefully you got that same answer. There we go. All right, there's your, that's it for that lesson. There's your problems. Bring your questions. If you're confused, let's talk about it tomorrow in class. Submit these problems to me online, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you.